State Representative Cam Buckner just announced his bid for a run for Chicago mayor. WGN's Megan Dwyer joins us from the South Loop with more. Megan. When Representative Buckner stepped up to the podium today, he said happy birthday to me. And of course, it is his birthday today as he announces his mayoral candidacy. He steps into the ring among Alderman Ray Lopez and businessman Willie Wilson. He says he has seen a poisonous pattern of division in this city. A mayor's job shouldn't be to fight just for the sake of fighting. Before today's announcement, we sat down to talk to him about his vision. Any small business, I think she's done good for. At the corner of 18th and South Wabash, you'll find Teapot Brew Bakery. For the last four years, they've been inside this small garage, making all of their baked goodies from scratch. I think Lori's doing an amazing job, actually. Today, State Representative Cam Buckner asked if he could announce his mayoral candidacy from the back patio. So many people are going to jump into the uh, race. You're going, to, you're going to meet them as they get in. They're going to have debates, and then I'll learn more about them. But right now, I don't know who he is or nothing about him. Buckner has been serving in the 26th House District. It runs from the Gold Coast all the way to the southeast side. But some question whether he's as connected to the community he represents as he says he is. When he sponsored state legislation to outlaw ghost guns, for example, community activists said they didn't think he went hard enough on criminals, and they didn't feel included in the conversation. Make sure that the uh, communities are, you know, the low income communities are okay. You know, taxes are not too high. Um, you know, they're, they're for the people, you know, and not just for their own political gain. Buckner says if he's elected mayor, he'll focus on crime and, of course, education. He comes from a family of teachers and principals. I think it is uh, premature uh, to make a decision on who the police superintendent is. He says he's not worried about finding a replacement for Superintendent David Brown because there's a lot of talent already within the ranks of CPD. He works with commanders regularly. His house district includes five police districts. What I'm hearing is people don't feel safe. Uh, they don't know what's happening with our education system. Uh, they want some understanding of what's going to happen with our business corridors and our, and our, our economy, uh, and they want a way forward. They are um, tired of us fighting with each other, and we, they want us to find a way to fight for Chicago and move forward. With the department down 1,600 officers and more retirements on the way, he says he wants more resources poured into the communities to prevent crime, including mental health support. He's been critical of how the current mayor does business. Today, he was hesitant to criticize her personality, only saying Chicago's leader should essentially play nice with others because the city has too much to lose. That can't be the thing that... that carries the day. That can't be the reason that we don't get the solutions, right? Um, and, and this work, this work for the people, uh, we can't take things personally. He says when it comes to schools, he doesn't want a teacher contract to be a war. He says he's prepared to negotiate it from his kitchen table if he has to, not from podiums or in press releases because parents are fed up. We're sitting by a telephone at 10 o'clock at night trying to see whether or not their children have school, um, trying to figure out um, you know, how to log into a broadband system that was janky. He also wants to make sure the Bears don't go anywhere. The Chicago Bears should always play uh, football in Chicago. Buckner has previously pleaded guilty to two DUIs, one in 2010 and one in 2019. That most recent DUI, he was found asleep in his car about one block from the state capitol in Springfield. He calls those past missteps, past mistakes, says he is a changed man and he has taken accountability. Reporting in the South Loop tonight, Megan Dwyer, WGN News.